Hello friends, you know I love to bring you truly unique products, very specialized. But before we begin, I wanted to say that Peter, the owner of Pineapple Grips, is fantastic. In our conversations back and forth, what he does is truly a passion for him and it was very important for me to highlight this. Hello and welcome to a spotlight on an affordable custom upgrade. Along with covering and testing Star Citizen, I like Sim. Motion Sim, Driving Sim, Flight Sim, Chopper Sim, Space Sim. It's all good. And because of that, I keep tabs on all of the fun things, all of the cool tech. When performing any kind of long distance or endurance racing, you want it to represent reality in the sim as much as possible. If you're in there for a three or four hour race, then there's no pause. And this product takes what's already a great product and greatly improves upon it. When using stronger force feedback settings, it's natural that you're going to have to grip harder. And that combined with the longer race time, fatigue eventually becomes a factor. And like anything, you can get used to it, but we don't have to because there's help. Pineapple Grips is a UK-based company that I'm quite sure is made up of Peter and his passion for his art. What's offered are custom grips in various sizes, in various materials, and with some custom options. This isn't my regular content, but I'd appreciate you taking time to watch this short video. And of course, if you know anyone who might be interested Interested, please share it with them because that'll help support both Peter and I. Most formula style wheels from Fanatec use very similar style grips. I ordered the chunky and thicker grip for my F1 wheel to help with comfort, durability, and with long-term races. This is not sponsored. I actually bought the product myself. The video is greatly focused about getting the community some information about what's out there and what's available. To make this conversion happen, you really need to take the wheel completely apart. This may seem like there's a lot of opportunity to break the wheel, but if you prepare and you set up your space, this won't be an issue. It's important to do this when you have time, when you're rested, and of course when you're in a good mood. Get good lighting, prepare a coffee or tea, and that last part of being in the right mood always helps with very technical projects. You're going to need some smaller Allen wrenches, a small screwdriver, and something to hold the small parts during the process. You should visually inspect the new grips that you just got to make sure that they're perfect. You wouldn't want to go through this entire process just to find that there's a fault that needs to be fixed. So, take a look at the parts that came with them, and so that you know, some of these parts are going to replace the ones that you remove, so it's okay to have some leftovers. First, place the wheel facing up and remove the two lowest hex screws, which will free up the small rear cover. Unplug the wires to whichever style of shifter you may have, either the APM or the standard. With an Allen wrench, unscrew both sides of the shifter module from the wheel. Fully remove the modules and the wire, taking care not to strain those wires. Remove the six remaining Allen screws from the front. Remove the remaining four screws from the rear. Once these screws are free, carefully remove the original front grips and be very aware of the small wiring that might be in these covers. With the wheel facing down, you can remove the rear cover, but once again, being aware of the delicate wiring. There are two haptic motors that are held in place by the grips. These are removed from the original grips and then reinstalled into the new ones. Reassemble in reverse order with the new grips. Make sure that wires aren't pinched and ensure that the metal pins are used to hold the two grip halves together. Do not overstress the Allen screws and when it comes to reattach the shifter to the wheel, you may need to fuss with the wires a little bit to get the connections back to the correct plugs. Once the shifters are plugged in, attach the small cover and use the two lowest screws to hold everything in place. Now you take time to appreciate your work with a visual check and then of course you test it. The upgraded grip materials and sizes are lovely. Peter also has a detailed how-to on his website with the same process, which might actually be easier to follow than this video. When I bought mine, I decided to get understated black all around to preserve that mostly stock look. But there's no limit to your creativity. Combine optional materials to achieve team colors, ask for special text to be added, and finally I wanted to mention another newer product that Peter offers. These wheels do get very expensive very quickly. As configured, I'm pretty sure that mine is over $1,000 because of the upgraded shifter modules, the custom buttons, and now the pineapple grips. Peter makes a custom cover to cover your wheel. Even if you're happy with your current grips, why not invest in a customized cover? These covers will work with any of the F1 wheels, and I've tested it also on my GT3 wheel. They look perfect and keeps things tidy when they're not in use. And that's it. We come to the end. Thank you very much for watching and your continued support. I appreciate great people like Peter who take it upon themselves to offer products like this to make our sim experience that much better. Drive safe and I'll see you in the next video.